Hi everyone, I am Divyansh Kumar and today we will be discussing uh, the first problem of April 23 circuits, right? So let's get started. The problem name was maze maximum and the problem statement was pretty simple. It mentioned that we, you are given a 2D matrix of size n cross m and we have to find the maximum possible value x such that it, there exists at least one row and one column where all the values are greater than or equal to x, right? So, uh, like the constraints were pretty simple as well that n, 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 m will not cross 10 raised power 6 and each element is of the order 1, 2, 10 raised power 9. So, by seeing this, you should consider that each element is along, right? Uh, the approach that I followed was pretty simple that so the question is just to find the maximum value x such that all a i j is greater than or equal to x which just means that x is the minimum element of that particular row and particular column right so what i did is broken down the problem into two smaller issues one is to find the minimum element of each row uh, and each column and then if i just take uh, the maximum a maximum row or the maximum column which has the ma greatest minimum element right uh, that will return me in finding the x row right uh, let me take an example that will clear out uh, this approach right so let's say in the given uh, example as well right this was the given input where 2 1 3 4 2 4 and 5 9 6 right let's find the minimum element of each row and then each column right so the first row is 2 1 3 the minimum element is 1 similarly for second row the minimum element is 2 the third row the minimum ele element is 5 uh, coming to the columns so the first column minimum element is 2 4 5 2 so that's why 2 1 and then similarly 3 right and then let's say a is the first variable that we want to find where we have the maximum value of the minimum element of each row so in this case it is maximum 1 to 5 so it is uh, 5 or the third row and then b is the maximum of the minimum element of each column so it is maximum of 2 1 3 that is 3 right so given that your x will lie in this particular row and this particular column why so because you want to have the maximum value present so your minimum element should always be maximized right so in this case my answer is just simil uh, just simply taking the minimum element of a and b in this case 3 and 5 and is equal to 3 let's validate it so in this scenario if you see if i go to the row 3 each element is greater than 3 of course because you have all already taken the minimum element of them right and uh, similarly for column 3 if you see all elements are greater than or equal to 3 so 3 being the you know the smallest element of the column so in that case that is why we take the minimum of a and b right and that is that becomes our answer it is pretty straightforward it is simple maths i think uh, the code is also pretty simple the optimization in code that i did was just not to store this additional uh, data stores instead if you see i am just i, I will just replace the zeroth um, row and zeroth column to have these values because uh, we actually don't need uh, the values once we are updated right if you see that uh, row 3 has the minimum element 5 actually i don't care about the other elements 9 or 6 right so i can always update the first row for, uh, uh, having said that zeroth row and the zeroth column i can always update them right so that is the optimization that I did and I am say I am reading each element ij and then I am just checking like if that element is minimum of um, the item that is present in the uh, zeroth row and G jth column if it is I update them if not then I still keep uh, the previous value so in this case I will end up having the minimum value that is present right. Um, that's present when i read and update each row and column and then finally i just take two variables a and b find the maximum of these two um, row elements so basically uh, a is the 
what is the maximum call uh, you know row row minimum element that i got and similarly b is the what is the maximum of min column element that i got right and the final answer is just the minimum of these two values a and b so yeah that was all uh, it was a pretty decent problem uh, so let's see the other problems they should be they are pretty interesting so let's go ahead with the next ones this was all for this video thank you